In the middle of your picture, the Soyuz TMA-15 that undocked about uh, 31 minutes ago from the uh, Earth-facing port of the Zarya module and uh, continues uh, to move away, a safe distance away from the International Space Station so that uh, it can begin its deorbit burn less than two hours from now to begin the ride home for Roman Romanenko, Frank DeWinna, and Bob Thursk. And now you see the actual undocking as it occurred at uh, 9.56 p.m. Central Time. The undocking command to initiate the opening of hooks and latches occurred at 9.53 p.m. Central Time. Three minutes later, physical separation as springs on either side of the docking interface pushed off against one another enabling the Soyuz to back away three minutes after the physical separation occurred. Roman Romanenko conducted a 15-second firing of the Soyuz thrusters in a separation burn to initiate the opening rate uh, that uh, continues as we speak, uh, placing the Soyuz a safe distance away from the International Space Station for its deorbit burn that will begin at 12.26 a.m. Central Time. Once again, uh, this video replay of the undocking of the Soyuz TMA-15 with Roman Romanenko, Frank DeWinna of the European Space Agency, and Bob Thursk of the Canadian Space Agency aboard. The undocking occurring uh, 220 miles over southern Russia near the Mongolian border. Meanwhile, as we watch uh, the replay of the departure of the Soyuz TMA-15 and the Expedition 21 crew, the reports uh, from Arkalik uh, in Kazakhstan indicate uh, that the uh, members of the landing team uh, under the supervision of Joel Montalbano, the director of human spaceflight programs in Russia, the NASA coordinator of this landing, are uh, at the Arkalik airstrip uh, receiving uh, their helicopter uh, instructions from uh, members of the search and recovery forces. The uh, temperature is around freezing. Uh, there are snow flurries uh, in Arkalik. Uh, the snow is a bit heavier uh, to the north uh, in Kustanai, Kazakhstan, where additional helicopters are waiting uh, to depart pending approval of the Russian State Commission. So uh, all of the uh, players for the landing and recovery team are uh, at their respective sites awaiting a final approval uh, to board the helicopters to begin uh, the transit from Arkalik, uh, the 80-kilometer ride in the helicopters, uh, down to the landing site to recover a Romanenko, Duena, and Thursk if the weather is good enough to support that.